sorry, I'm getting no signal at all here. Really sorry, bye. You may have noticed over the past 20 years or so that mobile phones can be a great way of keeping in touch, but they also have their limitations. Not a lot of people know this, but over 85% of the world's surface has no mobile coverage whatsoever. So often one of these can be, frankly, completely useless. If you're in the habit of going off grid a lot by land, sea, air, or even in a buttercup meadow like this, then you might fancy getting one of these. It's a remarkable new way of keeping in touch all the time. It's called the Tapmaster Low Pro by a company called Track24. So how does the Low Pro work? Well, it tracks you, so let's walk around. Petmask is connected to the Iridium satellite network rather than the sparse mobile phone transmitters around the world. So there's not a single portion of the world's surface which isn't covered by this. So a bit later on we'll go home and I'll show you the track we've walked this morning. The wonderful thing about this is it tracks you automatically so you can set it to bleep uh, every day, every hour, and if you were a particularly paranoid parent with a kid on a gap year, you could even set it to uh, tell you where your child is at every minute intervals, although probably if you do that you should consider your child maybe not going on a gap year. It's the smallest bit of technology of its type that's ever been introduced as a, a satellite messaging and tracking device. These things are normally made for military and they're outrageously expensive and quite heavy to carry. This, as you can see, is hand-sized, it's pocket-sized, it can just live in a, in a rucksack and do its thing quietly. It's even got a rather splendid panic mode. Now imagine you're in the middle of the bush rather than a bush, which is what I'm in the middle of, and something terrible happened. You were kidnapped, you ran out of petrol, something awful happened. Flick aside that red cover there press that rather prominent red button there and you're in immediate panic mode. This will now send out within a minute or so a message to a designated mobile phone and an email to a designated email account anywhere in the world to say Jonathan is in terrible trouble somewhere and it will then give the exact location. I don't know what you then do but at least you know your person is in trouble. In use, it's a wee bit cumbersome to use. It's not the easiest interface, but it's a great deal better than nothing. And nothing is what you've got, remember, in 85% of the world. So let's have a look now at what appears on my computer screen back at base. And you can see our little expedition this morning. There we are parking the car, messing around with the parking meter, walking along the road there, down to the river, over the wall, into the meadow, messing around there. There are the two panic alarms I set off, which, um, it all, all seems to work fine and there we come home da, 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 da. so it's a really impressive track we're getting there and what i love about the gadget more than say a satellite phone which is a big cumbersome thing is that it's a passive thing it can sit in your backpack quietly reporting back to base saying what you're doing it's kind of electronic security blanket it's also not that expensive at something like twelve hundred dollars to buy on a variety of contracts all around the sort of less than a hundred just over a hundred dollars a month mark so a great new way of effortlessly keeping in touch from remote parts don't get lost yourself. Hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks for watching Technopolis TV.